All right, we're gonna do a little review of our Puma Palomino. So, boom, 31 RLQS. That's what we got. That's what it looks like. Give you a quick walk around of this baby. Mm -hmm. We love this thing. We're gonna put a lot of miles on this thing. I should have been counting, but we've been camping pretty hard this year. So that's the whole deal. So one other thing I'd like to show is <clears throat> when this thing is closed up, you're not getting to anything in the back. No refrigerator, no nothing without letting one of these slide. Well, this slide, the the passenger side slide out. Uh, not getting to the kitchen or anything in there when you stop it for a break. You can't get to the bathroom or you can get in there and utilize your bathroom. And then for your bedroom, pretty much the same. Bed got you stopped. I mean, you can squeeze in here and hop across to get over there until you cut your cabinet or whatever if you need to. But uh, yeah, only thing you really being able to access in here is your bathroom. Uh, when you're stopping on the road. So I guess we'll start at the front. So my only complaint about this thing is uh, the outside storage. So outside storage is a little lackluster to say the least uh, on this thing. Right, so outside storage, a little shaky. We'll get to that in a minute. You got one battery. Okay, you got one battery right there. Came with two 20 pound propane, propane tanks. Um, you can go up to 30, plenty of room in there for that. You got electric power jack with a light on it. We enjoy that. Not a lot of work. Um, this baby also comes with the uh, electric stabilizer. Again, you know, not that bad when you got a drill or whatever anyway, but kind of nice to have it already there. Uh, fresh water tank on this side, outlet on this side there. Got one on it on this thing, just on the front. I believe that's 20 foot, not sure for how long that on it is, but you only got one. You don't have one on the back. Um, propane disconnects, quick disconnect. We didn't get a chance to use those this season. I'm gonna try to get rid of it. I just don't even think we need to use that. Um, what we've been doing with our grill and stuff has been working pretty good, but we might try to utilize that next year. But my issue with this thing is outside storage. So we'll start up here in this compartment. So we've taken most of the stuff out of here. So we use this a lot for outside storage, okay? But this is actually where your wash and dryer would go if you want to go up to one of those. You know, some <laughs> stackable wash and dryer would sit right in this little closet type deal that's already prepped for it right there. But we use this as outside storage because we would kind of be scrambling uh, if we didn't. So you got this, and then you got this little deal here under your dinette. So you got this little outside storage. It's pretty deep. Um, and then you got one right here that you can't access from the outside. You gotta get that from the inside. So we got inside stuff, we keep like our floatables and all that kind of stuff for the pool and that stuff in there. But you can only get to that from the inside. So as far as outside, you got this. And you got this dealio, which we put like our hoses and all that kind of stuff, bulky stuff. We don't have it in there right now, but it normally goes there. Then on the other side, you have some more outside storage so this is pretty much like up under the bed it's pretty deep pretty unorganized right now but um yeah that's what you got and that's all you would have um as far as outside storage i mean you can make it work we haven't had a problem with storage for what we were trying to do um but i would like to have a little more but i don't think we'll be full time in this thing um but who knows hey so the other side Hot water heater, six gallon dealio, right there. Uh, propane and electric, it can run off both or either, or however you want to do that. Okay, uh, outdoor shower, 
city water connection 50 amp service we love that plenty of power black tank flush we love that too we like to keep our tanks healthy okay so this thing got let me see one two two gray tanks and a black tank um that's where you're dumping it right there all your stuff on one side um has it so you can shut it off and dump either gray or black or whatever you want to do but everything is right there uh, and that pretty much that's it well you come around to the back ladder uh, so what i like is the the ladder clearly supposed to be able to get uh to get up on the roof we got one of these so you can service your roof so we like that we got it from somebody that was actually living in this thing uh before we bought it to them bought it from them so it worked out pretty good for them and it's worked out pretty good for us uh for this camping season Is. you guys beat us in here and beat me in here welcome to the inside of our home let's get some lights turned on in here so i said home but it's not really our home it's our home away from home that's for sure so welcome to the inside of our puma palomino rl 31 rlqs and this thing took us three years to decide on this layout pretty much we was in germany for three years and just researching researching and i'm back in that process again because we're looking at what the next one is going to be and i'm kind of torn between a truck camper and a fifth wheel and i still got airstream kind of sneaking up in there a little bit too so y'all let me know down in the comments if you have a truck camper a airstream or a fifth wheel what you think if i go fifth wheel i'm thinking tow a hauler um so i can put a golf cart or something in the back but it's so many options and we're trying to figure out as our kids get older what's going to work best for us because they're not going to go camping all the time so do we need all that space i don't know so those truck campers are real intriguing right now but getting sidetracked let's get back to the video so here's the living area rear living you kind of caught us uh the ac's on too let me turn that off you kind of caught us me and stride i'm winterizing it um because i gotta put it up because i'm getting ready to deploy but um the dinette's down and all that kind of stuff so kind of caught us me and stride um so rear living edition this is what we sat decided on we like for the seats and stuff to be in the back uh we don't want no bunk house when we got young kids so we have the theater seating on this side we also have uh, that turns into a pullout um two adults could sleep on that comfortably one adult it'll be more than enough room my six foot 16 year old son sleeps on this all the time with no problem okay then we got our tv haven't upgraded the tv yet still got the base furion that came with it i think that's a 39 inch we don't spend a lot of time in here when we can when we camping but uh, i think i am gonna move up to a 50. but we got the base 39 up in here right now fireplace a little bit of storage down there under the tv but that fireplace and i'm gonna tell you something when we first bought this thing and we were in valdosta georgia we turned on that fireplace we almost didn't even have to turn on the furnace i mean i don't even think we turned on the furnace that fireplace kept the whole front part of this camper warm because it was in april so it was still a little chilly but that fireplace right there that thing rocked and rolled for us um and still does when we're in those like chilly months not cold but chilly you can fire that thing up and and uh you don't really need propane pantry 
like again mid strat we just got a few things in there right now um you know stuff that we leave in the camper pretty decent sized pantry my wife didn't, hasn't complained it's all good plenty of room for her to put her stuff in now we're getting into the kitchen i'll give you a broad stroke of the kitchen um lovely kitchen with an island okay um you know you got a fridge you got a uh a, a mic regular microwave not convection but just a regular microwave but that's good to go three burner stove with a nice ass actual stove in here not the little mini garbage but that's a the nice ass stove my wife haven't baked anything in there yet but uh she definitely could if she wants to so decent decent size kitchen um trying to move around so you can kind of check it out decent size kitchen little lights hanging down over the over the uh island but this right here this is probably my favorite thing in this camper and we're going to end up doing some videos about our favorite things but i'm telling you right now hold up let me turn the camera around i'm telling you right now that this is big sarge's favorite thing inside this camper now I'm going back. This right here. This is a ever chill 12 volt refrigerator. Not three way, not two way, not none of that mess. All I want is a 12 volt refrigerator where my refrigerator work off my battery uh, or whatever power I need. We can fire this thing up and it don't take long to get it cold. Nice size refrigerator. Let's look in here. There's the freezer portion of it. Nice size, more room than we'll ever need. Then the refrigerator portion itself, more space than we will ever need. This thing, I'm here to tell you, we'll fire this thing up, 45 minutes is cold. Even that, if that. That 12 volt compressor come on, and I love this. It's not no waiting. So I've never had the absorption fridge, so I'm not bashing it. And if y'all use them, you can let me know. But I've been told that they take sometimes hours to cool down. And that's not what we wanted. We wanted to be able to turn the refrigerator on when we pack it up, pack the camper up, and by the time we start putting the food in the refrigerator, the refrigerator is always cold. And by the time we get to where we're going, it's ice cubes in the refrigerator. That's what we're talking about. So I will never have anything other than a 12 volt refrigerator if I can help it. I don't see them in, um, I think the truck campers had like three way. Um, you still give you the 12 volt option. Um, I would have to do some more research on that to see how that works. But uh 12 volt for me. I just like how quick it cools down, the convenience factor. You know what I'm saying? I could, I'm hooked up to my house right now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't running no generator. I ain't got none of that stuff on. I'm hooked up to the house. And if I want to turn that refrigerator on, I can hit that switch and that refrigerator will fire right up. Um, I just love it. It's just convenient for me. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Okay, here's our little dinette. That's what it looks like in travel mode. So it's folded down. My oldest son, who's the shorter of the two, he sleeps here. This is here. This is where he normally sleeps at on the dinette when it's folded down. Um, I'm not a big fan of the dinettes, but uh, I'm not against it either. This is how it came, and this is how we rocking with it. So, um, just a dinette. I uh, got some storage under both that storage you can get to from outside. This storage is just to get to from the inside. So it's storage in here. Um, like I said earlier in the video, the outside storage is my problem. Doesn't have enough um, to actually live in it, even though the people we bought it from were living in it. But uh, I just would like to have, I got a lot of tools and stuff. I would just like to have a lot uh, or more outdoor storage but for what we do camping uh, on the weekend week or two at a time more than enough uh space in here to do everything you need to do 
So let's keep it going. We actually got room up under the dinette. That's where we got our black stone at. That's where we travel with that at. That's up under the dinette when it's in travel mode. Got the black stone tucked up under there. Oh, you did it again. How you keep on getting in front of me when I'm coming in here? Cool. We made it into the bathroom. So, decent sized bathroom. Um, I'm turning the camera around. So, okay, sink. Uh, storage. This is a deep storage right there. Like, super deep. Medicine cabinet. Nice size medicine cabinet. Then you got your smooth walk-in shower. Got the little uh, glass deal right there. Toilet. Fan. You know, we got the max air deal on top of that. And under here, you got some storage under the sink. We keep our little camp stove right there on the floor when we traveling. Or it's either there or in the shower when we traveling. So again, you caught me, I'm doing this mid-strad. But it's a decent sized bathroom. It's enough room for you to sit on the toilet, get in the shower. I'm like six foot, six one. Plenty of room for me in the shower, on the toilet. You know, only kind of, you know, four people with one bathroom. I'm sure you know about that. That's kind of, that can suck sometimes. But, uh, we gonna make it do what it do. And finally, the bedroom. Now this thing had the opposing slides. So again, it's, we're in travel mode, so we got stuff on the bed. Um, you got plenty of room in this baby. I'm trying to give you a vantage point. You got plenty of room in here. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the east-west slides instead of the north-south. I kind of like that, that my slide pushes out that way and it opens this room up. So I know I'm sleep on this side, so I got a little bit of area right there. Old lady got a little more on her side. Um, we winterizing, so the hot water heater is down there, so that's why that panel's off. Um, but yeah, decent. That's a queen size bed on there. Storage there. Two air conditions. This has its own air conditioner back here. And then you got the ducted AC up front back there. So, I mean, this thing right here just chills this thing, y'all. Um, you got a, your little deal. We got some pillows in there. Big closet. Big doggone in the front cap. The whole front cap is your closet area. So you got room and then you got stuff to hang, place to hang stuff in there. So if you get creative, that's a lot of room. Um, yep, move that. And then you got your closet. Now this is the closet, but we use this more for storage. Cause so it's a closet, it's storage. And this is also where you can put your wash and dryer at. So, we don't have a wash and dry. We don't know if we want to do that yet. So right now, this is basically storage. We haven't really had to hang anything up in there. Uh, we just use it for the hoses and all kind of other stuff. So you, cause you can easily access it from right outside right there. So I like this little bay area right here. But if she decides she wants a washing machine, we'll have to figure out something else. But right now, the closet is our storage room. And that's the doggone uh, bedroom, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very nice camper. We like it. It took, like I said, it took us three years to decide on what we wanted to do. Me and her agreed that this was the move. Um, again, I get a little. Let me see if I can do my little patented Michael Bay swivel shot in the main living area. But yeah, this is a very nice camper. Starter camper for us because this is our first one. Um, I think we did pretty good starting out because I don't really see a need to do anything else. Like if I was to get a truck camper, I would keep this. Of course, upgrade all this pleather and not get rid of all this RV furniture and put some nice furniture in here. But I would keep this and just had a truck camper to go in just a, a alternate mode of camping. You know what I'm saying? Like with me and her, because I like how cozy those things are. I just want I'm thinking about that real hard. Um, 
but I don't have any complaints about this thing. It'd be four of us in here and our 100 pound German Shepherd is in here also. He laying in the floor, his cage can go in here. Sometimes we bring the cage, sometimes we don't, but plenty of room for everybody. Dual AC, 50 amp uh, trailer. Um, and it, it had to have 50 amp, had to have a 12 bolt fit refrigerator. It was just some things I was not gonna budge on. And it checked all the blocks, black tank flush. Um, it checked all the blocks uh, for us, for us to jump off into our, uh, jump off into our camping experience. So that's it. We just wanted to share, uh, I wanted to finally do a little tour of the inside of the camper. So give you guys an idea of what we are working with in here. Um, like I said, I'm looking for info, like, you know, all my truck campers, Airstream people, fifth wheel tour hauler people, just fifth wheel or camping in general. We are looking for to either do something different or to add an alter, uh, alternate mode of travel to our fleet. And that would be probably a truck camper. To, so we could camp with that or camp with this. So uh, we're just trying to make up our mind what we want to do with that. But guys, if you like content like this, give us a like. <laughs> if you like content like this, give us a like. Stay sucker free, tighten up. That's our mantra around here. You gotta stay tightened up. They ask you to like and comment on the on the videos or whatever. We love going back and forth, commenting with everybody. has been real nice. No mess down in the comment section. I didn't even have to say nothing about that. It just been happening. It was good to go. Guys, stay tightened up. Stay sucker free. This your man, Big Sarge. We'll see you in the next one.